hello everyone if you have a list of text and want to search cells and return values based on list then you know how important it is to return values in excel if cell contains text from list so today we'll do this in a second so this is jihad Rianjim from excel demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to return value in excel if cell contains text from list let's talk about the data set a bit we have list of all products and important list available here now we want to find products based on the list in this video we'll try to return the value in the products based on list if it contains text from the list so let's get started in our first method we'll combine count if if and or functions to solve our problem to do that we'll go to the c5 cell insert our if function for a conditional value in this section we have the logical test parameter where we'll input our or function the or function returns a true value if any of the arguments are true in this value in the logical one we'll insert the count if function which basically counts if it finds any substring match in this section we'll insert our first cell which is the range b5 after that we'll insert an star sign which also known as the while star character it search for the main values in the cell of the b5 in a string now we'll insert the data range along with the concatenated ampersand operator so in the ampersand operator we'll select the range of the list e5 and e6 as we have to also use it for every cell then we will to use the f4 to make it permanent in our next case, we'll again use the ampersand operator and again double quotation while star double quotation. After that, we'll close it down and insert our value if true. Value if true, that means if the condition of if function is fulfilled, then it will show the B5 cell as the return value. But if it doesn't, then it will show a blank cell. So we'll write down nothing in our double quotation. Now hit the enter button to get the perfect result. Copy down the formula to use it to every cell. If we see correctly, then you will see in the column C, the list of chips and call rings are found by using the count function. So that's our first method. We can also do the same job by using if error combination along with the search function. We'll go to the C5 cell and insert the if function to set the proper condition in the logical test we'll go for the or function which will return the true value if it finds any kind of true match after that in the logical one we'll insert our is number which basically checks if it find any kind of number or not now in the next section we have our search function the search function basically searches the whole selected area and returns as the proper value in the search area we have three parameters but in the first find text parameter we have our list that means e5 to e6 and to make it permanent we'll press f4 in the keyboard after that we have to also go with the within text so select b5 as our within text and now hit the bracket sign after that we'll go to the our if function if the value is true then it will show the b5 cell otherwise it will show the blank cell so write down nothing in our double quotation hit the enter button to get the perfect result so copy down the formula to use it to every cell and get the perfect result by using the search function we can also use text join function to solve our problem to do that we'll go to the c5 cell insert the text join function to join the two substring according to our data set next we have our double quotation comma double quotation again comma and now as the ignore empty cell you have to select the true option 
in next case you can easily go for the if function to set the proper condition here we will go for the count if function in the count if function it will only work where it shows any kind of matching in this case after that we'll select b5 as our logical test and in this section we'll go for the wildcat string which is the star sign it will search the whole data set according to our wish and merge it with the ampersand operator here the list is e5 to e6 and will make it permanent by using the f4 in the keyboard after that we'll go for the ampersand operator again and write down the wildcat in now we'll go for our next function which is the if logical test value if true value if true will show the return value of e5 to e6 and make it permanent by using the f4 after that we'll go for the double quotation blank double quotation which will basically value if false after that we'll hit the enter button to get our perfect result copy down the formula to use it to every cell then you'll see it has shown as the value of the e5 or e6 according to finding the match so that's text join function for us In our new method, we want to use the combination of match and index functions. To do that, we'll go to the C5 cell and insert our if error function, which will basically check if there is any kind of error found or not. In our next case, we have the value section, which will return the index function. In the index function, we can easily return the value in the list array. So select the value option, which is the e5 to e6 and to make it permanent we'll go for the f4 in the keyboard in our next case we can easily have the row number which will return as the match function the match function will have three parameters in the first lookup value we'll have one and next we have the count if function so write down count if function which basically shows the range of match if it's fine any kind of true formula Otherwise, it will show the blank error. In this case, the range is here. We'll select the B5 as our first range and insert our wildcat character and again double quotation and now ampersand operator. Go for the E5 to the E6 and make it permanent by using the F4 in the keyboard. Again, ampersand operator and go for the wildcat character again. Now, hit the bracket sign to close the parenthesis and again go for the zero to find the exact match here now we can easily close it down and go for our value if error section if the value is error we want the blank cell so write down nothing in our double quotation and hit the enter button so we'll get our perfect result if we copy down the formula to use it to every cell then we'll get result for every cell so that's combination of match and index function for us. In our last method, we want to apply the combination of text join exact if functions. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert our text join function, which will basically join all the strings inserted the comma. After that, we'll go for the double quotation, comma, double quotation, again comma and write down the true as ignore empty cells we can easily go for our if function to set the proper condition here in the logical test we can go for the exact match so write down exact which will basically checks if it finds the return value or not after that in the text one we can easily go for the text here is the c5 to c14 next we can have our text to as the main function of the list which is in the f5 cell so select it and make it permanent by using the f4 in the keyboard after that we can easily go for our value if true option if the value if true so we'll select the range which is b5 to b14 in this case but if the value is false it will return a blank cell so write down nothing in our double quotation and hit the enter button then you'll see you have got your product based on the leads comma by the horizontal so that's the exact function for us that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can also download the practice workbook from the link below
Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelnavy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.